Buongiorno, studente. Today we're going to do a close-up of our Bavarian dessert. So today we're making vanilla Bavarian cream. For Italian, we're making crema vanilla Bavarese. 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 Crema vanilla Bavarese. Okay, so let's start with our sugar and our yolks. I'm gonna put our pot on uh, and I'm, I'm gonna turn our milk on as well so it can start to warm as we're doing our eggs. Okay, so we're doing our egg yolks here with our sugar. And we're gonna whip those until light. But we don't have to we don't have to incorporate a lot of air into it. Okay. So as we're gonna with these, I'm watching my my uh, milk, but I'm gonna sprinkle my vanilla over my cold water so it'll set while we're uh, working on this, on our eggs. So we'll give a little stir there. Make sure it's all stirred in. We won't have any lumps anywhere, of course. Just a little stir like that, there. All right, that's ready to go. So let's start with our eggs here. You don't have to use a mixer for this. We just need to mix them light, just till they're light, and you can already see how light they get. Okay, so our milk is ready to go. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Doesn't take long. We'll probably make about six, six or seven Bavarian. So, I'm gonna, so really what we're doing is we're making a, a custard, a, a vanilla sauce, a cream anglaise really. Or um, well, like a pastry cream as well. We're doing a custard, but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, thicken it. Instead of cornstarch, we're using gelatin. So there's our eggs. You can see that, okay. So as you can see, I have a towel in a pan here. So that way when I add my milk, a little at a time, it'll help. Instead of it moving, we're just doing a little at a time. We're tempering our eggs, of course, that's what it's called. We put that to the side. We're tempering our eggs. All right, set that to the side. Okay, so back on the stove it goes. Now I'm gonna pour this back in to the pot. And I'm gonna stir this and cook it, but I'm not gonna bring it to a boil. Okay, we do not wanna bring it to a boil. We wanna make sure that it actually um, just just starts to, to simmer, just barely. You can start to see the edge of it. And so we have to stir it constantly. I have my gelatin there. Move this over to here. Let me make this, make sure you can see this. Move this out of the way here. Sorry. There we go. So you can actually see. So I'm gonna turn this back on. And I'm going to stir this slowly. And you'll start to see the steam come off the top, is what we're gonna be looking for. I have it on 210. That's about medium heat. And I'm just stirring this lightly. And I can see, and you'll be able to feel the custard when it starts to firm, uh, to firm up.
Now I have another bowl ready on the side here. Again, so I'm just looking at this. I don't want this to come to a boil. I'm just stirring it. You'll start to see the heat and you'll, and you'll, and you'll feel it thicken. Okay, so we're good. So I could feel it just thickened. And so that's all it takes. I want you to see how. So it's, it's a little firm. So now we're going to add our gelatin. So that way it dissolves. Okay, so give it a nice stir. So that took maybe two minutes is all it took for that to, to come to a, uh, like I said, almost to a simmer and you could, you could feel it get thicker and you can see it rise up too. So now we're going to let this cool, but I'm not going to hold the, the, the video on of course while it's cooling. But what I am going to do is I'm going to whip my eight ounces of uh, heavy cream whipping cream that I have to fold into this and the vanilla so I have it ready to go and then I'll show you how and I'll show you the the molds we're going to be using so I I actually like to pour this into a bowl okay so that way uh, the pot keeps it hot so the bowl I'm going to give it a stir. I'll set this aside and I'm going to whip my whipped cream and have it ready to go. And you'll do the same thing. You'll just set it in a bowl, put it to the side, and just, just give it a stir once in a while. Um, you don't want to get too cold because there's gelatin in there. And so if you let it get too cold, if we put it on the granite, it would get too cold. It would pull the heat out too quickly and then it would seize up and then when you try to fold in your whipped cream you'd have chunks you won't be able to pour it we want it to be just room temperature is what we're going to look for so we'll fill the bottom of the bowl with our our, our arm and see how uh, it is our forearm and, and see how it's cool enough to fold in our whipped cream so i'm going to set this off to the side okay i will be back i'm going to get our whipped cream ready and uh, show you our our fold in our final product, what they are, and uh, and that's our Bavarian. This is for your practical. You will have to make this for your practical. So we're going to practice it. I'll be back. <laughs> 